the Lockheed Martin SR-72, also nicknamed the Son of Blackbird, is an American hypersonic aircraft currently under construction. It's the successor to the SR-71 Blackbird, a plane that was able to reach speeds of 3,529 km per hour, or 2,200 miles per hour, and heights of 85,000 feet. The most recent news is that this craft will be around 60 feet in length. What's mind-blowing is when you consider that the hypersonic technology of Vehicle 2, which is an experimental glide aircraft, is capable of hitting Mach 17, which is 13,000 miles per hour. To put that into perspective, the Eurofighter Typhoon, one of the world's most impressive combat aircraft, can do 2,495 km per hour, or 1,550 miles per hour. So knowing that they have this tank, the SR-72 is expected to reach speeds of over 14,500 miles per hour, 12,000 miles per hour faster than the Eurofighter Typhoon. Lockheed Martin's SR-72 could be ready within the next few years, with whispers of it being scheduled for first flight around 2023. However, there's some that have said that one's already been spotted by satellite. Google Earth images have started to be shared around again showing what appears to be a futuristic looking aircraft. Not much information could be gathered from the image alone, but that didn't stop users from sharing their theories. One of the first people to share the image was that of Secure Team 10, and since then it's been shared on various UFO grooms, where users have debated what this thing is. One person said the following, This object definitely looks futuristic. However, I doubt that a supersonic aircraft would be left out in the open. The image is genuine, but perhaps it's something else. End quote while another person said this. To me, it kind of looks like a speedboat. The shape and size of it gives off the illusion that it's actually an aircraft, when, in my opinion, it isn't. I think I remember someone saying that close by is a lake, so perhaps it's just someone's boat. End quote. Another person said the following. After looking at these photographs for hours, I've come to the conclusion that this is not the SR-72, or a hypersonic aircraft at all. I saw someone else comment something similar, and I think that what we're looking at is a test piece they use for calibrating radars. If you go by Lockheed Martin's word, then this hypersonic plane hasn't been developed yet, and would they really leave this craft out in the open for everyone to see? It certainly wouldn't be parked up like this. End quote. Someone even suggested that this craft was between 4 and 10 metres in length, and could be an F-35 RC model. Although this may be the case, these projects are a reality, with Lockheed Martin officials saying that they are working on advanced development aircraft programmes. The SR-72 aircraft will be the most impressive aircraft on the planet, having state-of-the-art hypersonic technology. Some websites are even reporting that the SR-72 will be able to strike targets anywhere in less than an hour. This 14,500 miles per hour aircraft will be an optionally piloted flight research vehicle, meaning that it will be able to fly without a pilot. Lockheed Martin Executive Vice President and Skunk Works General Manager, Rob Weiss said the following to Aviation Week, We've been saying that hypersonics are two years away for the last 20 years, but all I can say is that the technology is mature, and we, along with DARPA and the services, are working hard to get that capability into the hands of our warfighters, and we're looking to do this as soon as possible. End quote. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, said the following on their website. DARPA's Falcon Hypersonic Technology Vehicle 2 HTV2 program is a multi-year research and development effort to increase the technical knowledge base and advance critical technologies to make long-duration hypersonic flight a reality. Data from the program informs policy, acquisition and operation decisions for future Department of Defense conventional prompt global strike programs. 
hypersonic data is collected through extensive modeling and simulation, wind tunnel testing and two experimental flight tests. The ultimate goal is a capability that can reach anywhere in the world in less than an hour. Falcon HTV-2 is an unmanned rocket launch maneuverable aircraft that glides through the Earth's atmosphere at incredibly fast speeds. Mach 20, which is approximately 13,000 miles per hour. At HTV2 speeds, flight time between New York City and Los Angeles would be less than 12 minutes. The HTV2 vehicle is a data truck, with numerous sensors that collect data in an uncertain operating envelope. End quote. Although this sounds impressive, we mentioned in a previous video that people have been seeing this cross for a while now and it's caused eyewitnesses to say that this technology has been around for decades. One notable craft is that of the mysterious Black Triangle, a craft that's been seen displaying extremely fast speeds, much faster than those of jets. These Black Triangles are associated with unidentified crafts, and this is because of what they've been observed doing. The Black Triangles don't appear to make any sound, are able to hover motionless and close to the ground, are said to be much faster than any aircraft ever witnessed, and don't leave behind contrails. Pilots have even come forward with their encounters with these mysterious black triangles. One of the problems with this aircraft is that we know it exists. Every year thousands of people see this mysterious cross in the sky. Various questions remain though. How are these crafts able to hover motionless in the sky without making a sound? How can they go from a standstill to thousands of miles per hour within a few seconds? And why does no one seem to know anything about them? Another mystery surrounding these crafts is that they're seemingly able to sneak into restricted airspace. So what do you make of this photograph? And what do you think about the new SR-72? This expected to reach speeds of over 14,500 miles per hour. Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.